The first step in the digital editing process begins by getting the photos off of your card and into the computer. All of the Macs in the computer lab have built-in SD card readers. They're on the back of the machine. Inserting your SD card into this reader will mount that card onto the desktop so that you can begin importing your images. The first time you insert your card, you may notice that the application Photos that's built into the Mac it launches when you insert the card. To avoid that in the future, allow Photos to open. This may take some time, but the important thing is that you can keep this from happening on the machine you're working on again by waiting for it to load and then clicking on this checkbox that says Open Photos for this device. Unchecking that box and closing Photos will keep it from happening in the future. Making this change in Photos may only affect the machine you are currently working on. You may have to do it again if you work on another machine. The next step is to decide which way you want to get your photos in. There are two basic ways to do it. One is to manually copy the photos from the card to the desktop, and the other is to use Adobe Bridge. I'll let you decide which way is more efficient for you. So we'll start with the manual copy. Go to your SD card on the desktop, double click on it, and then navigate to the folder that has your images in it. Grab that folder, drag it to the desktop underneath of your card, and let it copy. Depending on how many images you have shot, this may take several minutes. Once the folder finishes copying, you can then use Bridge to rename your photos and to begin the editing process. There are two ways you can use Adobe Bridge to import your images. One is to go to the File menu and drop down to Get Photos from Camera. The second one is to simply click the Get Photos from Camera icon in the toolbar. Now this dialog will come up. Now, since I'd normally use a different program to ingest my photos, uh, I'm going to click no on this. But if you do want to uh, use Adobe Bridge to do this, you can click yes. Whether you decide yes or no on this, it may only affect the individual computer you're using in the lab and whether it'll show up when you log in with your account to other computers. I'm going to click no again because I don't actually use Bridge to ingest my photos. So the next thing that happens is there will be a um, a photo downloader application that opens up. The first thing you want to do is choose where you're going to put your images. So I'm going to save these on the desktop. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this folder images for now. Click create and select choose. Here's a, another thing that you can do. I want you to name the photos a certain way. So you can actually have Adobe Bridge do this to all of the photos as they get imported. Now the caveat is that you need to remember if you have more than one assignment on your card, it's going to rename all of them. So if you have more than one, you can skip this step and go ahead and do not rename the files. But if you know that everything on there is one thing, uh, you want to go ahead and just let it do it for you. The next thing is it will bring up this dialog. So we're going to get rid of these two options and we're going to set the first one to text and we're going to go ahead and leave that there. And the next thing we want is to put current file name and make sure that it says name plus extension. If you do not have name plus extension typed in, it'll actually take the extension off and Bridge and Photoshop won't recognize your image. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename these files the way I want them to be named for class, which is to use my last name, the assignment name, and the date that they're due. And as you can see, if you look down here, you can see that the file will have that name. I actually put a period at the end so that I keep the extension and the original name separate. Now when I click OK, it's going to be all ready to go, and I can put Get Media. Now again, depending on how many photos you have and how large your camera raw files are, this may take some time. Once it's completed, it will open a new window with your images in Adobe Bridge. If you need to use Bridge to rename your photos because you didn't do it during ingest, it's pretty simple. Go up to the Edit and select All, and then go up to Tools and select Batch Rename. You can also push Command, Shift, and R, and it'll bring up this dialog. This is the window that opens by default. Now, just like we did with the ingest, we're going to remove these two on the bottom, leave this as text, and switch this to Preserved File Name or you can also use current file name. Make sure you change the name to name plus extension. Again, it'll drop this off of the end of it. Now, 
we're just going to use this text line to rename the files. So again, we'll use last name, the assignment, and the date that they are due. And then put, I put a period, you can use an underscore. Um, but I like to keep the file name and the original photo file name uh, separate. Hit rename, and you're done. A quick tip is that uh, you may have noticed when we use some of the menu options up here, all Adobe software has keyboard shortcuts that can save you some time. The easiest way to start learning them is to notice the letters and the key combinations that appear next to um, menu options. So if you need to open a new folder, for example, you'd push Shift, Command, and the N key. Or if you wanted to open something, you can use Command and O. You'll notice that not every item has a keyboard shortcut, but some of the main things that you'll be using usually do. And it's a good thing to start learning them. They can save you a lot of time over the course of your career.